Cuba. Ron Johnson is arguably one of the most mentally challenged members of the Senate. And, As in, he's incredibly stupid. Uh, I will remind you, it was Ron Johnson who, who basically said that he went to the president because um, Sunderland, the EU ambassador who was then sort of freelancing as the Ukraine uh, ambassador, had gone to Ron Johnson and said, hey, we got a problem. Trump won't release the funds to Ukraine unless... They announced that they're going to investigate Joe Biden. And Ron Johnson went on TV to relate that story and say, so I called the president and I just want you to know the president said there's no quid pro quo. Without realizing that Ron Johnson was actually backing up the testimony before Gordon Sondland actually testified that the ambassador to the EU was told there's a quid pro quo, just not in so many words. And then he realized, like, oh, I got to backtrack from that. Did I just, oh, I, that came out wrong. Here is Ron Johnson talking about how um, the impeachment process is really, really interfering with Donald Trump's ability to wag the dog. I like this idea of this hanging out over him during an election. That, that, that would be kind of a strategy well, on the part of the Democrats, albeit a weak one. Or but during, so how, how do you avoid or that? Or during a crisis in Iran. Right. Laura, there's been so much damage already been done to this country uh, because of this. You know, the, the, the fact that now any future president will have a hard time having a candid conversation with another world leader because, because we've exposed these, these transcripts. And, and, of course, within two weeks of this president taking office, conversations between world leaders were leaked. I don't know who President, trust can, president Trump can trust inside the administration. Think of that. Well, he, so, he still, has people, he still has people on the National Security Council, you know, detailee staff who are working. Uh, who? Security Council, you know, detailee staff who are working. So we're, we're having a problem with that. But um, that, are work, what, that worked for Obama, is that what she was saying? No, I think he's still saying that she, he still has some people that maybe he can tr uh, rely on inside well, the staff level. Here, here's the amazing thing about what Ron Johnson's saying here. One, a crisis of Donald Trump's making is what is problematic. Here, go ahead. Pull this up. Inside the administration. Think of that. Well, he, so, he, so still, has people, he that still has people on the National Security Council, you know, detailee staff who are working against his policies you take a look burrowed at, in right now yeah, they're you, there you take a look at the news stories that came out after the the uh missile attack against uh, uh general uh soleimani. General soleimani um and yeah there, there there's still people leaking inside the administration trying to undermine his policies um what's amazing about this is that here is ron johnson saying like how can you have this impeachment when donald trump is trying to create a crisis in iran it is like th that it's too much on donald trump's plate and then on top of that like i want to remind people the big one of the big selling points of donald trump was that he is a businessman he only gets the best people. Do we remember that? Only the best people. Oh, yeah. And Ron Johnson's complaining that and there's only like four or five people who are allowed to listen in on these conversations, all of who are handpicked by Donald Trump, that are leaking stuff. Well, it's because Donald Trump is a joke. <laughs> all the people around him are all scumbags. And there's no loyalty amongst thieves. And, the, you know, the bottom line is that this doesn't in any way prevent future presidents from having frank conversations with other world leaders unless they are frank about wanting to personally enrich themselves. Let's take politics fashion. out of this for <laughs> one second, Samantha. Say a president that you prefer is in office and they want to open up a chain of halal restaurants in another country. <laughs> opened by them and their children. 
you would preclude their ability to have a frank conversation with, as an example, an Al Qaeda affiliate in Karachi they are trying to partner with. I'm, That's I am, why you need to look beyond your own partisanship. I am concerned about uh, Bernie Sanders being president and trying to negotiate maybe with like uh, the French some type of like, um, you know, I've got a snow uh, a ski resort in in Vermont that I want uh, you guys to 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 call. Try to open the up French a chain Alps. of Montessori <laughs> schools with the French. I need to be able to have a frank conversation without the deep state. <laughs> God. It's arts education for people who come from abused backgrounds. And if I can't, if I can't have a secret conversation with the German Social Democrats about it, the deep state is one. The utter dumbness of these people has got to add some insult to the injury. I mean, to be fair, Ron Johnson is like the king of the dumbness. Yeah, Ron Johnson is like, super. St Ron Johnson is literally a rich guy who inherited like, you know, some family fortune and like read an Ayn Rand book and was like, oh, I should be in the Senate. Like Soleimani, good or bad, was an objectively impressive person. And to get murked <laughs> I, I by mean, people like this is got to be the yeah. worst end you could possibly meet. I don't know. I didn't meet him. I wouldn't necessarily call him impressive. I wasn't impressed by him. I'm not impressed by many people. So I, maybe. I, I just think it's funny that Ron Johnson, like each point he brings up this was something that trump brought upon himself like we can't do future exactly. diplomacy because these transcripts were released who released these transcripts exactly. it was the white house now exactly he released the transcripts yeah. and <laughs> why did he release the transcripts because there was a burgeoning scandal he thought he was getting out in front of that he created he created the crisis in iran all of it all of it in fact it was ron johnson who precipitated the release of those transcripts because he went on and it was too stupid to realize that he was in the middle of blowing the lid off the, the entire scandal. And I will say, taking the word impressive out of it, if uh, we don't want to use that word, uh, Ron Johnson or Donald Trump could not handle General Soleimani's schedule for more than a half an hour. That, uh, that may mean, be the case. Ron Johnson would be like, right, 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 General Johnson just leaked intel from Quds operations by accident across the entire but Middle East this again. Is a, a comical and mismatch. Donald here. Trump would have a, a cardiac arrest walking up the hills to meet right. with people. That, right. Like, but I, but I, let me put this way. <laughs> Look, uh, Bob Kerry, former senator from Nebraska. Not impressive. Not, not impressive, despite the fact that he also uh, was involved in a lot of uh, he was what not a strategist, war though, crimes. A war. Yeah, uh, uh, and and so I, you know, I just um, they're walking up the hills, right? And, and Trump, Trump's like, you know, a lot of people are going to meet with the Kurds soon to organize an insurgency, but a lot of people think that Robert Givens left Mike Tyson for Brad Pitt. It's not true. <laughs> left him for me. <laughs> He's 